Greetings, dear viewers. This is David Kuki from the United Kingdom, welcoming you to another captivating episode. Today, we delve into the fascinating narrative of the unfragmented Kuki territory, a land steeped in heritage, unity, and freedom. Nestled in the western part of Myanmar, the Kuki territory thrived as a unified region, untouched by foreign influence. This vast expanse, home to the Kuki people, was more than just a geographical location. It was a symbol of unity and shared heritage, a testament to the enduring spirit of the Kukis. The Kuki people, numbering over a thousand, are residents of this territory, each contributing to the rich tapestry of culture and tradition that defines the area. The Kuki culture is a vibrant blend of colorful traditions, folk dances, music, and exquisite handicrafts, each element echoing the stories of their past and the aspirations of their present. The unfragmented Kuki territory was a beacon of harmony, a testament to the unity that prevailed among the Kuki people. Every corner of this region echoed the shared values and collective strength of the Kukis, a strength that would later fuel their fight for democracy. A significant part of this territory is Zalingam, a term that translates to land of freedom for the Kukis. This isn't a mere definition, but a reflection of the Kuki spirit their aspirations and their enduring struggle for self-determination. Zalangam embodied the essence of the Kuki territory, a land where freedom was not just a concept but a way of life. In its unfragmented state, the Kuki territory stood as a symbol of unity and freedom, a stronghold of Kuki culture and tradition. It was a region where every Kuki could experience the joy of belonging, the pride of heritage, and the promise of a future built on the pillars of unity and freedom. The Kuki territory, a unified region, was a beacon of harmony and unity, a land of freedom for its people. But as history often tells us, peace and unity can sometimes be disrupted by the tides of change. And so it was with the Kuki territory, a land of freedom and independence known as Zalangam. The once cohesive Kuki territory was to face a turbulent period of division and conflict. The intrusions began subtly, almost unnoticed, as foreign forces started to encroach upon the Kuki land. Over time, these incursions grew bolder and more disruptive, leading to the fragmentation of the unified Kuki territory. The once unbroken land of Zalangam a symbol of independence for the Kuki people, was split into three distinct parts, Western, Central and Eastern Zalangam. The Western Zalangam, located to the east of Bangladesh, became a territory marked by the influence of foreign forces. The Central Zalangam remained in the heart of the Kuki land, while the Eastern Zalangam fell into the western part of Myanmar. This division was a significant alteration to the Kuki's geographical and cultural landscape, changing the way the Kuki people lived and interacted with their surroundings. The division was not peaceful. It was marred with struggles and conflicts. The Kuki people had to fight to protect their land and their way of life. They had to resist the foreign forces that sought to control their territory and impose their own rules and regulations. It was a time of turmoil and upheaval, that tested the resilience of the Kuki people. However, in the face of these challenges, the Kuki people remained steadfast. They did not give in to the pressures of the foreign intruders. They fought back, standing strong in their resolve to protect their land and their culture. The spirit of the Kuki people was unbroken, their determination unwavering. The once united Kuki territory was now divided, yet the spirit of the Kuki people remained unbroken. Despite the challenges and the changes, they held on to their identity and their sense of independence. The story of the Kuki people is a testament to resilience and the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In response to these tumultuous times, the Kuki National Army, or KNA, emerged, joining forces with the People's Democratic Front. The KNA wasn't just a band of rebels, but a group of committed patriots, their hearts beating with the rhythm of Kuki nationalism, and their minds set on the goal of securing freedom and democracy for their people. The KNA's formation was a direct response to the fragmentation of the Kuki territory. As the once unified land of the Kukis was divided, the KNA rose like a phoenix, its flames fueled by the desire to reclaim their homeland. 
Their fight wasn't just for a piece of land, but for Zalengam, the land of independence for the Kuki people, a symbol of their freedom and identity. In the struggle for democracy, the KNA found allies in the People's Democratic Front, or PDF. This alliance was not just strategic, but symbolic, embodying the shared vision of a democratic Myanmar where the rights and dignity of the Kukis and all other ethnic groups would be respected. The KNA PDF operations in Myanmar were far from easy. They were up against formidable forces, but their resolve never wavered. They fought bravely, not for personal glory, but for the collective good of their people. As the KNA's operations expanded, so did their ranks. From a handful of brave hearts, they grew to a formidable force of over a thousand. Each member of the KNA was not just a soldier, but a symbol of the Kuki people's longing for freedom and their willingness to fight for it. Their fight wasn't just against external forces, but also against the fragmentation of their homeland. The division of Zalangam into Western, Central and Eastern Zalangam was a painful reminder of their lost unity. But it also served as a potent symbol of their struggle and the dream of a unified Kuki homeland. The KNA's fight was not just about reclaiming their territory, but also about restoring their dignity and their right to self-determination. They fought for the idea of democracy, not just as a system of governance, but as a way of life that respects the rights and freedoms of all individuals. As the Kuki National Army continued their operations, they became more than just a military force. They became a beacon of hope for the Kuki people, a symbol of their resilience in the face of adversity, and a testament to their undying spirit of freedom. The Kuki National Army, now a force to be reckoned with, continued to fight for the freedom of their people and their land. Their story is not just about a battle for territory, but a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Kuki people, their unwavering commitment to their cause, and their relentless pursuit of freedom and democracy. The struggle for freedom, however, often comes with a steep price. The path to liberty is often paved with sacrifice, and the Kuki people, in their pursuit of independence, have paid this price in full measure. Throughout their history, the Kuki people have shown remarkable resilience in the face of adversity. Despite the division of their homeland and the constant threat of intrusion, they have steadfastly held on to their identity and their dream of an independent Zalangam. Their spirit is embodied in the Kuki National Army, which has swelled to over a thousand members, all committed to securing the Eastern Zalangam and fighting for the democracy of Myanmar. However, the fight for freedom is not without its costs. Over 50,000 Kukis have laid down their lives for the cause of their homeland. Each one of them a testament to the bravery and tenacity of the Kuki people. They fought not just for themselves, but for the generations to come, for a future where their children could live in a free and democratic Zalengam. These sacrifices were not in vain. They served to strengthen the resolve of the Kuki people, to galvanize them into action, and to remind them of the high stakes of their fight. Each loss was a stark reminder of the price of freedom and the lengths to which they would go to secure it. Yet, even in the face of such tremendous loss, the Kuki people have never wavered. Their spirit remains unbroken, their resolve undiminished. They continue to fight, to strive for their dream of a free Zalengam. The sacrifices of the Kuki people are a testament to their unwavering spirit and their relentless pursuit of freedom. Each life lost is a beacon of hope, a symbol of the Kuki people's unyielding commitment to their cause. Their sacrifices serve as a powerful reminder to us all that freedom is worth fighting for and that the spirit of the Kuki people is indomitable. The tale of the Kuki people is not just a story of struggle and sacrifice, but also of resilience and hope. Through the unfragmented territories of Zalangum, we've traced their journey from the intrusion and division of their homeland to the formation of the Kuki National Army and the People's Democratic Front. 
Over a thousand strong, they stand as a testament to the enduring spirit of the Kuki people, fighting for democracy in Myanmar and above all for the Kuki community itself. The echoes of over 50,000 sacrifices ring loud in the heart of Zalangam, a land that symbolizes freedom for the Kuki people. Their story, steeped in courage and resilience, is an important chapter of history that deserves our understanding and acknowledgement. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. Please don't forget to subscribe to Zalengam Media for more enlightening content. From David Kuki in the United Kingdom, we bid you farewell.